I would like to start today by asking a very personal and sincere question. I don't want you to answer out loud or to put up your hands, but I do want you to take your time and reflect. Do you spend some time thinking about the life that you're trying to build, the life that you're building? Where do you want to go in the short term, in the long term? Do you think about this or are you mostly reactive to whatever life brings you? If you're not quite there yet where you want to be, do you feel it's because you were not given the right opportunities? Or maybe you did not really take advantage of the opportunities given? How come some people with equal or even less opportunities than us manage to build extraordinary lives while others struggle? Today, I'd like to challenge the way you think about uncertainty and how you can use it as a tool to, find, to get to know yourself better and build the life you consider worth living. I'm originally from South Argentina in South America, and like many people in this room and many people in my generation, I've always been a big time dreamer. I've always wanted to travel the world, meet people from every corner, live in different continents. Yet, I thought I was just unlucky. I just I didn't land that type of life. That's okay. I was going through a very dreadful routine. I was studying in university economics and I had to keep grades above average in order to keep my scholarship, to keep on studying. And at the same time, I was working two jobs, not one, but two while studying. So just to say that I was very stressed is a complete understatement. I was completely burnt out. And I remember particularly one evening walking back from work Work was about two hours away from where I live, so it was around 11 at night. And I remember thinking, man, can't wait to be 40. Can't wait to be 40 years old and just have a stable job. I don't care how dull it is. I just clock in, clock out. It allows me to pay rent. That's all I need. And then it hit me, and I stopped. What kind of 20-year-old wishes to be 40? Is this, is this the life that I'm building for myself? All the dreams traveling the world, I'm gonna give up before even trying? It was then and there that I decided I had to leave. So I quit my jobs, dropped my scholarship, dropped out of university, and moved to Denmark to look for a better present and future. And I found it. Denmark is amazing. I remember upon arriving, to this completely new experience, thinking of myself, I'm gonna take every single opportunity to do something new. I'm gonna build the life that I want to live. And I did. After three years, I graduated from one of the most prestigious degrees in the country. I built startups that allowed me to travel around Europe to workshops and conferences. I started playing rugby, I became a Danish rugby champion. And above all, I managed to surround myself with people that I love deeply. I finally found the growth, enjoyment, and stability I was so much longing for. I was finally living my dream. Yet, I decided to leave everything behind again, and this time move to China. Now, why China? I really don't know. I never, I never been to China before. Never, never been to Asia, actually. The closest I got at the time was Athens in Greece. Also, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't have a fascination with China. I just didn't know anything. And that was a motivator good enough to come and try it out. And if switching continents was not adventurous enough, I decided to go all in. So I moved from Copenhagen to Beijing all the way by train. Now, of course, there's no direct train ride from Copenhagen to Beijing. So it took me across several cities in several countries from Denmark to Sweden, Finland, all Russia, Mongolia, northern China until I arrived in Beijing. A journey that took me from small, sleepy little Russian towns to 
running of a bear in Siberian forest to living with nomads in Mongolia. Uh, Life-changing experiences that took me roughly a bit over a month to complete. Now, I guess many of you are asking yourself a very fair question. Why? Why would I leave such an amazing lifestyle that it took me so much work to build from scratch? I was finally living my dream and I was very aware of it. I thought of myself as the happiest person in the world. Why well, am I going to leave that behind and try to start again in a place I have no idea about, in the completely opposite end of the world, where I have no clue how my well-being is going to be? Also, why do it by train? Why just not take a, a, a plane like a normal human being? Why add an extra layer of risk to this pretty uncertain scenario? And the answer for me has been very clear. Uncertainty is always an opportunity. Think about this. In every decision that we make, lies the opportunity of pushing beyond our perceived limitations and getting one step closer to the person we wish to become. It is only by reaching out of our comfort zone that we're able to build extraordinary lives, a life we consider worth living. I realize that how much I learn about myself is proportionate to the risk I take. For me, a strong person is that one who can thrive in the unknown. And I wanted that for myself. It became a craving, a pursuit in itself, to understand me better, what I'm capable of, and where I want to go. Now, learning to enjoy and thrive in the unknown, it doesn't happen overnight. It's not an aha moment or something you do once. It's a process where each time you do something you previously consider impossible, no matter how small, just something that you haven't done before. It increases your confidence, now you did it, and it becomes your new standard from where you judge yourself and your decisions. It is a dynamic search where we're constantly learning and rediscovering ourselves, what we like, what we don't like, because who we were yesterday doesn't have to define who we are today and who we will be tomorrow. Life is in constant flux. It's a never-ending movement, and that's the beauty of it. But you have to go out there and find it. The most life-changing experiences you're ever gonna live in your life are most definitely not gonna come knocking down your door. You have to expose yourself, little by little, but consistency. It's a lifelong searching process. Now, I understand if many of you agree with what I'm saying, but I know that this is easier said than done. So how, how can I start? Many of you are probably asking yourself, how do I start? And that's the trick. It doesn't really matter. You just have to start. Action inspires motivation. If you're caught in between your dream and you don't know how to get there, just do something, the very first easy next step. Let's say you want to study abroad and you don't have the means. There's plenty of scholarships, pages online. Just create a free account in one of those pages. Just do the very first thing. And in that you'll find the motivation to do the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing, until you find your way. Every decision is the right decision. If you're caught in between hard decisions, the issue is not choosing the wrong option. You see, that's the thing with hard decisions. It's hard because there's no clear best option. Otherwise, it wouldn't be hard. The issue is not choosing at all and being paralyzed by fear of change. Once, I remember I had a conversation with a good old friend of mine, and it's a conversation I've had repeatedly over the years with people who have loads of opportunities, yet they decide to be stuck behind the fear of change. They decide to be. So my friend is very happy to see me. He was like, Patrick, you're living my dream. Every time I open Instagram, you're in a different place in the world. I always think I'm gonna join you next time you do it. And I go, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty great. So why don't you do it? I know he can. And then he enumerates a list of reasons very fair claims, 
university, job, family, friends, to justify himself why he's not out there chasing his dream. And I always think, it's very fair, I'm nobody to judge, and this might sound a bit, a bit rough, but we are responsible for our own happiness. Grabbing the bull by the horns and building the life you consider worth living, it is also a sacrifice. It's not always an easy ride, but it's the only way you can push fear aside and get closer to the person you wish to become. To wrap things up, I'd like to challenge your perception of uncertainty. From a mentality of risk and scarcity to one of abundance and opportunity. Uncertainty is a precious opportunity. Embrace it, be friends with it, and you will see how a whole new world of incredible options open before your eyes just because you dare to change. Use it as a tool to get to know yourself better, to build self-love, and to get one step closer to building the life you want to build. Because in the end, we are responsible for the lives we build for ourselves. Thank you very much.